Uh, I guess let's start with the touchdown, of course. You guys were staying patient, still running the football, still trying to set up play action, and then you found Dalton Schoen. Yeah. Uh, how hard was it not to just get excited and throw the ball so fast as soon as you saw him? Uh, honestly, those are the hardest throws. Um, he was so wide open, that's why I put some air and made just um, made sure that he, he gave me a chance to catch it. You know, I felt like I missed another wide open one beginning of the game. They got a roughing the passer call, but same one with Blaze. It was just right. like it was so wide open. I kind of just pushed the ball and aimed it and just overthrew it a little bit. But man, I I I'm I didn't lost I'm a lost the words um, walking off that. I mean. It was just amazing to, to be around some of the guys that that I've been with through this through this program um, that are in my grade, Denzel Goolsby and Trey Deshaun, Reggie Walker, that senior class. Just I I was talking at the hotel last night and I was my main message was like I'm tired of people dis disrespecting us and not giving us the respect that you know we deserve and. But in saying that, we have to go earn it. We've had three non-con games in Power Five conferences the past three years and lost, yeah. and have lost by a good margin. And I was, I was, I could, it's time to to put Kansas State back on the map. And I feel like this is, was a great opportunity for us. And I knew I had so much confidence going into this game that we could win. I believed our whole team believed. Um, whenever we were down, we faced some adversity, had some turnovers on some special teams, and just some things not going our way. Nobody panicked. Nobody panicked. We rallied together. We came together as one. Um, played for one another, and it didn't matter. We knew we were gonna win. Like that's, that was our mindset. And it was led by Coach Kleinman. Um He told us on Monday we're gonna go beat this team, and nobody's giving us a chance. Nobody's, you know, talking about come from North Dakota State. Have you guys ever coached on this type of level before? All that like that stuff is just white noise, you know. And we knew that we just got to we needed to have a great week of practice and come out here and execute. And I feel like for the most part we did today. Um, we were kind of there in the second half, not on the field very often. We had a three and out, and they had a long drive that went and scored. Um, but like I said, I'm just so proud of this team. I'm so proud of this team. It was so awesome to um, to get a win for these seniors. I knew how much it meant, it meant to guys like Reggie Walker and um, Tyler Mitchell, guys that are from this area, having so much family in town. Um, and I was I was playing for those guys, playing for those guys, and. Oh man, I'm just I'm thankful. I'm so so thankful and blessed. It came a long way. I've came a long way, and I know this um, this this is just the beginning. Um, I'm not satisfied. This team's not satisfied. We're hungry for more. We're gonna rest up on this bye week um, and get better. And we're gonna go into Big 12 play with a lot of confidence and um, just continue to play K State football. I think we've established our our mojo, what we're what uh, you know what what we're gonna our identity and how we're gonna run things and um, we just gotta stick to that stick to that and trust one another. I think the best thing about this football team is that there's no self, there's no selfish players on this team. Nobody nobody cares about the individual stuff. We just want to win, and, um, and we've we've lacked that in ways the past couple of years. So I'm I'm just so thankful, so thankful and blessed. Uh, this is one of the most fun games I've had. Um, and you know, after the the end of the Bowling Green game last last week on the in the fourth quarter, I I got in there with the old line and the running backs, and it was just like, yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go in a dog fight with somebody. Like I'm I'm tired of beating teams like this and not playing a full game. I'm ready to go go fight and go battle with somebody. Um, so we were there in the fourth quarter. Um, we were down. Um, and we had that kick return. Um, and I just got in the huddle and told those guys like this is this is what we've worked for. This is what you guys have worked for your whole life for opportunities like this. Um, this is the time where we go shine. This is the time where it's it all pays off. And I know that we've worked harder than the people across from us. I know that we've sacrificed more. We've 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 been through so much. Like it's, it's time to go make all this worth it. And everybody just rallied together and told each other we loved each other. And we went and we went and fought for each other. And that's the one of the best moments I've had playing football my entire life. Um, you can just tell how much everybody loves each other and wants to, wants to go win for each other. Um, it says a lot about football team. Coach had mentioned you were fighting through some cramps and it looked like, like on that sneak, did something happen to your hand on that sneak too that you had to fight through? Yeah, so it was really weird. So I was carrying the ball and my hand started cramping. Um, my thumb was stuck, so I was trying to get it out. So this happened to me before. I don't know why, but I started cramping in my hand and then my, my lats, my back, my hamstrings, my calves. I started getting full body cramps. So I, I got an IV at half, um, and that led me to being nauseous. I felt 
honestly terrible <laughs> um, in the third quarter um, and was, was hurting. But I knew this team needed me. I knew I, I could get through it. I just needed to let the, the IV settle in, in, in me a little bit. Um, so I felt, I felt great in the fourth quarter. Um, there was no, nothing taking me out of this game. Um, and I was, uh, you know, I'm glad it was, wasn't nothing serious. I know some people probably thought I'd pop my thumb back in place or something, but maybe that's what I should tell people. Um, but, but no, I'm, I'm all good. Nick, Nick Litter's had, had a drop. How you going, Kelsey? If you got asked this already, what kind of statement do you guys think? Yeah, we talked. I just think that we showed that that we can hang with anybody. Um, um, you know, they were they were bigger, probably faster and stronger than us. Um, but we we established the run game um, early on, um, and to show um, we we can play with anybody. I truly believe that, and we've all believed that. Um, it was just time to go show the world and um, the country what, what we could do and that we could do that. And um, it was just so much fun to go out there today and just play, play for my teammates and play for these coaches and the, uh, this K-State community um, and fan base. Uh, I think that's, that's what it came down to. We knew um, coming down in here that it was going to be about us and we were going to go in 65,000 and, and it was going to be, it was going to come down to us and it, how we, how we stuck together and played together and uh, played for one another and I was just so proud of this team and how we did that. Um, we faced some adversity today for the first time this season, but I, I knew that was coming. Uh, this team knew that was coming and we just, we stuck together and kept playing for one another and it was just so much fun, so much fun. And I, I just think that, you know, I told the guys in the, I was kind of talking about this earlier, but I told the guys in the hotel last night, it's time to put K-State back on the map. I'm, I'm tired of, um, uh, people, you know, not giving us respect and, and whatnot, but in saying that, uh, we haven't learned it. You know, like we're tired of the, we're tired of people saying we're, you know, this and that. Like we're not physical enough, we're not big enough, we're not fast enough. We don't have the players, we don't have the coach. Like, but then again, they have the right to say that because we never, we never have, have proved ourselves to, to for them to say anything different. And. Um, I was just I was so mentally prepared and, and ready to go fight today. Um, I was in, you know going to give it my all and, and play play for play for my teammates, play for the, my coaches, and just trust my prep, preparation and just go be myself. And I did that today, and I think it paid off. And we got a win. And the the great thing is that this is just the beginning. Uh, we left a lot out on the field today. Um, had some turnovers on special teams. Um, you know, AJ's uh, pick and you know turning that over. It was just a lot of a lot of things that you know didn't go our way necessarily. So um, it was good to see our team fight through that and, and stick together. Um, and now we got we got some momentum going into Big 12 play, and I think that's huge. Um, we got another road game coming up against Oklahoma State, who's a great football team. Um, and it's just going to be about us these next couple of weeks and just getting getting better, getting healthy. Um, and just not being satisfied. What are your memories of Malik Knowles' kick return? Like, where were you when you saw it? How would you react? What'd you say? Like, just try to remember that play and walk me through what all happened there. Yeah, well, we were just in need of a. We were we were in need of some momentum of some type. Right. We needed we needed a big play. We needed to go score. Um, that was a huge possession of the game. Um, so whenever he got loose into that first line, I mean, I was just yelling, <laughs> just yelling for him to go. I thought he was going to get caught there for a second, just from my angle that I was at. Um, and then he pulled away and kept going and scored. It was huge. It was huge. And he just, um, the credit goes to, uh, to those guys on the kickoff return team. I mean, the hole was huge and they blocked and made great adjustments. Um, and Malik saw the hole and hit it hard. And, oh man, that's, that's the, it's just fun stuff, man. It's just so fun. Um, I was so happy for Malik making a play. You know, that's, that's who he is. He, he's a he's a um, he's a good player, and the sky's the limit. Still, and, uh, he, he's just gonna get better. He's got to keep keep keeping him, you know, confident and um, working with him to get better. The whole receiving core. I felt like I was, you know, I've said it time and time again. I'm so proud how we did not have, we had things not going our way today, right? Um, and we stuck together. There was no point in fingers, no nothing, and we stuck together. And that, that's that's what um, great teams do. Um, and we're still we're still growing and, and molding together. Like that's what's awesome. It just is game three. We're still early on in the season, but uh, it feels great to be three and zero. I'll tell you that.